Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, green shaded equilateral uh, triangle EBF fully confined in a square ABCD as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this uh, diagonal uh, AC of this uh, square is uh, 10 uh, units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded triangle EBF. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We know that we are dealing with this uh, square ABCD. So therefore all these uh, side lengths uh, of this square are going to be X uh, across the board. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABC. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle to find out the value of this uh, X uh, side length. And here's our Pythagorean theorem. A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, uh, our this hypotenuse AC is uh, 10 units. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, X square plus uh, x square equal to our hypotenuse is 10 whole square. Let's simplify. We are going to get 2x square equals to 100. Let's divide both sides by 2. So therefore our x square value turns out to be 50. And now I am going to take a square root to undo this square on both uh, sides. So therefore our uh, side length uh, x uh, turns out to be when we take the square root of 50 that is going to give us uh, 5 times uh, square root of 2 units. So therefore the side length uh, of this uh, square turns out to be 5 times square root of 2 across uh, the board as you can see over here. And now let's recall the crucial fact. The angles of an equilateral triangle are 60 degrees each. So no wonder all these angles of this equilateral triangles are going to be 60 degrees each. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this right triangle ABE and this right triangle BCF are congruent uh, triangles according to side angle uh, side uh, congruency theorem. Since uh, these uh, side lengths uh, are uh, equal and likewise uh, these side lengths are equal uh, as well. And since uh, these uh, two triangles are congruent uh, so therefore we conclude uh, that this uh, angle uh, ABE and this uh, angle uh, FBC are uh, congruent. As we know that this angle is uh, 60 degrees and this uh, whole uh, angle is uh, 90 degrees. So therefore uh, we conclude that this uh, angle uh, ABE is uh, 15 degrees and likewise this angle FBC is 15 degrees uh, as well as you can see in this uh, equation. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABE. And now let's recall the SOCA toy and we are interested in a cosine of uh, angle theta equals to adjacent uh, divided by hypotenuse. And in our case our angle is 15 degrees, our adjacent is 5 times square root of 2 and our hypotenuse is this uh, EB length. So therefore our cosine of 15 degrees is going to be our adjacent side is uh, 5 times the square root of 2 divided by our EB length. Let me go ahead and tweak the left hand side. I'm going to put uh, 1 underneath. And now let's cross uh, multiply. So therefore we are going to get uh, EB times uh, cosine of uh, 15 degrees is going to be equal to 1 times 5 times square root of 2 is going to give us 5 times square root of 2. And now we are going to divide both sides by cosine of 15 degrees. This is gone. So therefore our EB length turns out to be 5 times square root of 2 divided by cosine 
sine of 15 degrees and now we know that cosine of 15 degrees is 0 0.966 as you can see in this next step i have replaced this cosine of 15 degrees by 0 0.966 and if we simplify everything on the right hand side our this e b length turns out to be 7.32 units so therefore our this uh, EB length turns out to be 7.32 units and since uh, all these uh, side lengths uh, are equal so therefore this side length is going to be 7.32 and likewise this one is going to be 7.32 units as well and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded equilateral triangle uh, EBF and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, side length A times side length B times sine of uh, angle C as you can see in this uh, triangle we got the side lengths uh, A and B and C is the angle in between and in our case uh, our side lengths of this uh, triangle are 7.32 likewise 7.32 and the angle in between is 60 degrees so therefore the area of this green triangle ebf is going to be a half times our side lengths are 7.32 times 7.32 once again times sine of angle 60 degrees and now we know that sine of 60 degrees is 0 0.866. So therefore we can write this thing as 1 divided by 2 times 7.32 times 7.32 times 0 0.866. The value of sine of 60 degrees. And if we multiply and simplify everything on the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 23.2 square units so therefore after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this uh, green triangle EBF turns out to be 23.2 square units and that's our final answer Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.